Are you ready? Ready. All right, let's go. Kevin here, top one financial advisor. And best selling author. <laughs> we are here to talk about the stock market. Fun fact about me, I can't read minds. I have tried to be Professor X and it just has not worked. And even though I am not a member of the X-Men, at least not yet, I still know what you are thinking if you are a new investor. You don't like losing money. Okay, and the thought about putting your hard-earned money into the market and watching it drop is scary. It causes a little bit of anxiety and, you know, it doesn't make you feel good. And it definitely doesn't make you want to invest more, especially when the market is down. So today, I'm going to show you how to calm that fear using one simple and easy trick that I think will kind of turn the tide and show you that investing even when the market is down might actually be one of the best things that you can do. All right, so we're going to do this super quick. You can do it for free. I want you to kind of do this with me. You can do it on your phone or your laptop, I'll be kind of going back and forth and showing you how to do this on your laptop, okay? Now, before we do, I want to tell you a little bit about stock market history, and I promise you, it'll be really quick. Um, you know, I think when I say history, people are just like, oh my God, I don't want to do that. Uh, so here's the thing. Now, right now, the time we're, we're doing this, this is November 18, 2022, okay? I say that because, I don't know, people could be watching this video years from now. But in either case, the stock market's down about 15% so far this year. That's not great, Okay. However, things have been worse. In fact, in 2020, the stock market was down more than 30%. And then there was a time in 1987 where the stock market fell 22% in a single day. Okay, That was called Black Monday in 1987. I think it was October 19th. Now, my birthday is 29th. Don't blame me for that. But in either case, that happened on the 19th, 1987 in October. So that one day was worth worse than all of 2022, which, which says something. But in either case, in all of 1987, the stock market was down about 33% that year. Pretty significant, pretty bad. And obviously, if you were investing back then, or if you even just heard of that, that point in time, you're like, Ugh, I don't know, that's dangerous, right? It's risky to invest in the stock market. And yes, there are risks, but there are still advantages to buying and holding for the long term. And here's how we can figure that out and how we know that, okay? So what I want you to do is open up Google. Yes, google.com, Google app, phone, laptop, whatever it is that you want to use it on. I'm going to show you how to figure this out and how this can help you. All right, let's go to it here. And all I need you to do is type in just a few simple words, S and P 500. Now, I probably saw it in my search history already, but y'all get the point here. All right. So when you do that, you will usually get a chart that you'll see at the bottom. And this tells us how the S&P 500 did this uh, today. So that's one day. Now, for those that don't know, the S&P 500 is a measure of how well the top 500 companies in the United States are doing. The advantage of investing in something like the S&P 500 is that I don't have to sit here and guess, right? I don't have to think like, hey, is this one company good or is it not? I don't have to do that. I say, look, I, I own all 500 of these the majority of y'all are going to do well. And over time, I am going to do well because my money is diversified. I don't have to sit here and, and do all the research and all these charts and all the extra stuff to make sure I'm choosing the right individual stock. I get to spread it all out. I own the entire thing. That's the advantage of investing in the S&P 500. So here's the thing. All I need you to do is go right over here to Max and I want you to hit that button. All right. Now, I want you to go find me 1987 on this chart. I will give you a little bit of time as you go and find Black Monday, right? Go find, not, not just 1987, go find October of 1987 and see if that means anything, right? So if you go and look and you really have kind of to squint and zoom in and do all this extra stuff, this is, there we go, October 9th, it might, it might be as close as I can get. Looking at that, does it seem like the worst day, worst single day in stock market history? Does it look like the worst year? No, no, it doesn't. It's who cares at this point, right? If you were continuously investing and continuously putting money into the market, that that's a non-starter, right? It's really not that big a deal. Let's let's say if I went all the way to what is this? 2000.com crash. That was a bad time, and it's market's still up. Right. Look at where we are right now, even though, again, this is a pretty significant drop. It might not be fun, but like, I mean, look at where we were. What is this? Just three years or two years ago, two years ago during COVID, we went from where we have this in April to where we are now. And the stock market is down this year. This should be a little bit more calming to you because you're not investing just for a day. You're not investing just for a year. You are investing 
for the long term, or you should be, I'll say that you should be investing for the long term. This is why and you, you I have been on record. Go back and watch my videos from 2020 and even before then, when the market is down, I had the same face. Well, not the same face. Let me say the same expression because if you go back and watch those videos, my mustache was terrible, my beard was terrible, I didn't have a barber. Y'all know how it was. I couldn't get to the barbershop. It was COVID, okay? So it wasn't the exact same face, but the same expression in that during that time, I was still putting money for my kids to invest, for myself to invest. And that has paid off and it will likely continue to pay off if the past continues or this trend continues, which it has really, I'm not going to say from the beginning of time, but if you go back all the way on this chart, all the way since, well, this chart has 1982, but the stock market has been around since the 1920s and even before then. So you're, you're going to be okay. Okay. You're going to be okay. History shows us that we're going to be okay. And you are going to be fine. All you have to do is zoom out, take a step back and realize like, Hey, look, today might be a bad day. This year might be a bad year. However, this might still be a time for you to invest and grow your money, even though it may feel scary right now. now I said this two years ago. I'm going to say it now. Those who are investing right now, when the market is down, when things are uncertain, those are going to be the ones that look back and are incredibly wealthy two, three, or even four years from now. The exact same thing happened in 2020. And you saw it. We'll, we'll go back, right? What I said back then in 2020, I said those who invest in 2020 are going to be the ones that are wealthy now. And right now, they are, right? This is just two years later. So we'll see, right? We'll see. I, I can't tell you that stock market is going to do well in 2022, uh, 2023 or you know, tell you exactly what the market is going to be. I can tell you this. Look at this chart, right? Look at the chart and tell me where there's been a time where the market dropped and did not recover. You're not going to find it. Okay. It's, it's, it's not there. It has not occurred in history. So that's, that's the fact, right? You look at it on your phone, you're staring at it right now. So what you need to do is continue to invest. What you need to do is like and hit the subscribe button. <laughs> but aside from that, honestly, you, you do want to take a step back and invest for a long time. That is one of the most common things that you can do as someone who is trying to figure out the market, trying to learn a lot more and figure out what you should be doing and how you can build wealth in a time like this with any with any dollar amount. Because that's another concern. Because I have to be you know, a millionaire. I got to invest thousand dollars. You don't have to. You don't have to. My kids invest fifty dollars a month. I actually know a hundred dollars a month. Um, per child and I have a two year old daughter and a four year old son yesterday here in the beginning of the videos. But she the two of them are on track to have more than half a million dollars by the time they're twenty five. And that's it. Oh the best is a hundred dollars a month. But they get the the long term here, right? They get eighteen years before you know, they're 18, right? Because I started when they were born. And that is the advantage of investing and keeping your eyes on the long term. Right? So hopefully this was relaxing and calming just a little bit as you are going through your investing journey. Now, if you want to learn more other than hitting the like and subscribe button, that's right below this video. That would help me. And I think it'll help you as well. We have more advanced tips and tricks inside of the members only. If you're trying to learn more about like, what to invest in and how the stock market works, or you have any specific questions, then you can go inside the members only. And we talk way more in depth in, into that. Um, in fact, I've already talked about this, but we've had uh, an entire video about some of the top stocks right now in 2022 that are doing incredibly well. We're going to walk you through a few trades and just give you